Morning everyone. It's been a little while since I've done my last video. Um, I actually don't even remember when. Uh, I know it wasn't last week. Um, so I just wanted to pop on today to talk about what I've been doing and what's coming next. And, and I've been having some really big discussions around emotion and the mind. And kind of, I wanted to talk you through my program and there's there's been a launch i don't know if you've seen it there's been a launch of my emotion mind dynamic program and the program itself is a really emotional i, I want to say I, it's tough but it's it's so beneficial it kind of eventually outweighs how tough it is to do the the journey but the connection between why it's called emotion mind dynamic is really important to me because I don't think we educate our children enough about our, our emotions and, and how to control those. I know I was looking back at some of the stuff I used to do when I worked in schools and we're talking circle time and, and talking about emotions. But even as a family, we don't really talk about emotions. We, we look at what, how we're feeling on certain things but we don't really talk a lot about emotions and the impact they have on our mental health and that's kind of why the program is called emotion mind dynamic because there is a massive for me my belief is there's a massive um collaboration i'm gonna say between our emotional state and our mental health and because we're not aware of how impactful our emotions are we don't really look after them and we do, it isn't something that we focus on so there's been a as i said earlier there's been a launch of the online version of the program and it does help you understand how you're feeling at the moment and, and how to really identify those because if we can't identify the emotions we're feeling how can we deal with them and it's the same with any problem you know whatever problem you've got if you don't identify the problem you can't really deal with it so emotions are no different so we have a lot of people going through life pretending that there's no emotions that you know we've got them all under control and we're doing okay but they will only stay contained for a certain amount of time and the longer we hold them together the bigger the impact so if we are keeping all those emotions what we think contained the reality is that somewhere inside they are getting out from our emotional vessel into our mind and this is where the emotion mind dynamic bit comes in because as you start to, to identify and appreciate you know these these are tough things these are big emotions that we're often trying to, to deal with so when we start to appreciate how big they are when we start to appreciate that emotions are really powerful and, and the sooner we deal with them the better life changes it's all those emotions wrapped up in all those things we've been through that has a massive impact on our, our mental health and i remember doing this journey myself with a lovely lady and she helped me really helped me understand how those emotions worked and what I was carrying and I, I never really thought about it before because the thing that generally comes out for me is anger so when I'm holding on my emotions in it might be the same for you it might be something different but what people see is anger so when I'm hurt I'm angry and I think anger is a self-protection thing it keeps us from being further hurt so I, I really wanted to speak about that today and, and you know tell you a bit about the, the program which is launching the online stuff and start to get you thinking about not necessarily what you've been through but the emotions that you are juggling that you are containing i'm gonna say that in a tentative way because we can contain for so long it's the same as any bottle cup you know if you've got a pop bottle there's only so much liquid you can get in that in that bottle and it's the same with your emotional vessel there's only so many emotions you can hold in there before they start seeking ways out whatever they that may be you know for me it's anger um the other way for me was controlling paper 
and I it was letters or piles of paper. So if I put piles of paper a certain way, I needed them to stay that way. I controlled my hair. So I would dye my hair two or three times a week. Um, I'm so lucky to still have hair. Um, but we will, these emotions will find ways to come out and we'll, we'll have to be constantly finding ways to, to keep them contained. But that isn't a great way to help our mental health because the more emotions we're dealing with, the more thoughts we have and the more coping strategies we have to you know, employ and, and coping strategies tend to be pretty negative um, initially anyway until we learn how to do it more positively but while we are struggling with all these emotions and all these thoughts are going through our mind we're not resting well we're not we're not being the best version of ourselves I know recently I've been looking back at my parenting while I was depressed and actually I, I really wasn't, and I, and I know this, I've known it for a while, I wasn't the parent I wanted to be. And it was, it really was the, the hard work of, of an, identifying my, my emotions and, and working on my mental health that way that has allowed me to come back to, I am, um, come back to, to be, all right, let, let, to be the parent I want to be now. And I'm not perfect, I'm, the, that perfection is not where I'm at. I'm just the best version of that I can be because I've really understood the dynamics between my emotions and my, my mental health. And now I, it's not about containing emotions, it's about letting them go. And that's really what the programme is about. It's about helping you identify, uh, appreciate who you are as a person and not having to contain things. And containing thoughts and, and emotions is hard, it's tiring, it's exhausting. So let's teach children, I, and I, I always say let, let us as, as adults, let us learn how to do it ourselves so we can pass on those skills to children because imagine how hard it is for them when they're struggling with their emotions when we don't take the time to understand our own. So when we pass on, when we can pass on those skills, it gives them a head start in life. So really do think about this weekend you know if you are having some chill out time and, and self-caring I'm hoping you're still self-caring be thinking about your emotion mind dynamic you know yes there may you know you may be struggling with anxiety depression but think about the emotional side as well and for me it's starting there it's kind of starting from the bottom up and understanding and you know my motto is self-knowledge is a superpower and you are the most important person in your world. So let's get it right. Let's understand the whole person and your emotional health, your mental health and your physical health. Let's improve that as well. And that's what the Emotion Mind Dynamic is about. It's about you understanding yourself enough to help yourself because no one can do it for you. And that's quite a tough concept for some people because we are waiting for somebody to save us or to change our lives but it's only us that can do it. And I know, I know you can do it. So whether that is through something I do or whether it's through something else, find the thing that works for you, do it until it doesn't, and then find the next thing that works for you. Have a good day, have a good weekend. Hopefully the weather improves soon and I'll speak soon. Bye.